Hello guys, in this video I will show you and present you the Linux roadmap. If you want to switch to Linux from Windows, then I recommend you these five steps I'm going to present you in this video to switch smoothly with a very high success rate and hopefully with no issues. So I would say let's start. The first step is don't rush anything. In Germany, I'm accompanying many companies and persons on their change to Linux. We made a lot of stuff through and what I could say you take it slowly. I won't recommend you to switch to Linux in about a day, for example, because Linux works different ways and it's a change for you how things are working on a computer and how Linux, so your operating system behaves in some circumstances. So Linux has its own concepts and special features, which you also have to get to know to it as an experienced Windows user or administrator. So that is for the step one. So yeah, we have to take it slowly. So where are we starting? We are starting right at our already installed Windows system. Before you install something like Linux, change to software which also runs on the Linux because some software products which you are currently using in Windows don't support Linux. So as a first step, I would recommend you to try the Linux compatible software on your Windows machine and to get used to it. For example, instead of Outlook, you could use Thunderbird. It is getting many updates at the current time. So if you didn't have a look for some months or years to Thunderbird, I definitely recommend you to give it a new try. The same with LibreOffice. LibreOffice changed a lot in the last years. So give it a try too. If we rely on proprietary document formats like the Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint, then LibreOffice won't be the best solution for you. You could have a look to a SoftMaker Office, WPS Office or only Office, which is the only open source one of these three. And uh, yeah, give it a try because you won't have Microsoft Office on Linux. There are working some older versions of Microsoft Office, but they aren't well integrated into the system and I definitely don't recommend them. So you have to move away from Microsoft Office if you, if you want to use Linux and there are a plenty alternatives out there. Just try them and take the best for you. There isn't a recommendation for every user. For example, I am using LibreOffice as a standard. Some other people of me are using only Office. Some other are using SoftMaker Office, for example. So give it a try. And in this setting, you can easily change the software. You are also familiar with the rest of the system and you only have small changes on your computer instead of installing a complete new Linux with a whole bunch of new programs which you didn't have seen once before. Good. So this is quite recommended. And while you're switching to Linux compatible software, um, you could try, for example, Linux Mint. I definitely recommend it on your first device. For example, if you have an older device or a new machine, um, which isn't your main computer, um, then install Linux Mint on it. Try it out. Linux Mint or the whole Linux system works differently like Windows. Get a feeling for it and learn how to install software, how to administrate your Linux, get to know over the settings of Linux Mint, I definitely recommend it to you. If you don't have currently a free device, I personally recommend you installing Linux in a virtual machine like VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a virtual machine, which is a virtual computer which runs on your main computer. And you can definitely use it to try out another operating systems, how they gonna feel like in real if you install them in real and uh, this is a quite cool experience if you don't know it try it out it doesn't reflect the full linux ex experience maybe about 80 percent but 80 percent are better than zero aren't they so okay after you tested linux mint and you get used to some linux compatible software then everything is done to get the conversion of productive systems to linux at first I recommend you, if you are a company, to switch only about 20% of a department to Linux. Then you get first user experience. Maybe something isn't still working 
So it's much more easier to fix only things on maybe 20% of the computers than for example, almost all systems. So only if the change of the first 20% went well, then start a second wave in which you roll out Linux to about 70% of the computers. Then almost everyone is using Linux and is hopefully quite fine. It is highly recommended if you are a company to assist your users in this time and make it as easy to use as you get it. Because if the users are loving the new system, then the productivity of your company is much more higher than they aren't satisfied with the new system. And in the end, no one is happy. So make sure to take the employees with you. And in the end, only 10% of the computers aren't switched to Linux. And I personally recommend you to let the last 10% of the computers stay on Windows or at least one Windows machine on your department for about one year to have a backup if something later shows up that isn't quite working then it's very good to have a backup if the new system and new concept isn't finished. So after one year when everything got fine then every machine is on Linux and hopefully your company and you are more productive have a faster Linux with freedom with full transparency because it's open source which is more secure which your employees or you by yourself and you are loving. In the end we aren't finished. I personally recommend you in the last step to optimize your Linux setup and workflows because Linux works differently and Linux has some shortcuts which you definitely should use and to get more efficient with Linux. There's always some room for improvements so I definitely recommend you if you are already using Linux and try to optimize your workflows about every six months maybe and to look for better and faster ways to work on your PC. I personally do that maybe about every month try trying out new things and if I found something helpful then I share it for example on my YouTube channel and with my clients and customers. So that was it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. Please do not rush in switching to Linux. Try out Linux compatible software at first, then try out Linux yourself. And after that, everything is finished. Then and only then switch to Linux on your main machine, but always keep a backup of one of your old machines for about one year. And, and then your change to Linux should be quite promising. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel and have fun switching to Linux or using Linux further on. Goodbye. <laughs>